This is pre-calculus video on section 5.1, and the title of this video is Laws of Exponents. Um, get all of these laws in your notes. These are all um, review. You should already know all of this from both Algebra 1 and from Algebra 2. These three laws are known as the um, multiplication laws. These three laws are known as the division laws. On the bottom, I've got some things that you might not have practiced before. This in blue that I just highlighted in blue says that if I've got two things with the same base, okay, that are equal to each other, then th those exponents, if the bases are the same, the exponents have to be the same. This is kind of the, the contrapositive of that, okay? If I've got two things that are equal to each other, and this time the R's are the same, the, um, that means the exponents are the same. If, if they're equal to each other and the exponents are the same, then the bases must be the same. And I'm not, you probably haven't used that law before, but I think it kind of makes sense. Let's look at some more problems. All right, so here, um, keeping in mind that I am, um, I can change the radical to a rational exponent. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do here. So I've got c squared d to the sixth, all to the power of one half. Okay, so I'm changing the square root to the power of one half. In the denominator, I've got four c cubed. That's a cubed. D to the negative one to the negative fourth, also raised to the power of one half. All right. All right. So now everything up top is going to get the power of half one half. And when I raise a power to a power, I multiply the exponents. So c to the second to the one half. You're multiplying 2 times 1 half gives you c to the first. d to the sixth to the 1 half, I'm multiplying the exponents. So 6 times 1 half is 3, so this is d to the third. On the denominator, the square root of 4 is 2. That's not an exponent law, that's just the square root of 4. Okay. The c to the 1 half c to the third to the one half, I'm multiplying the exponents, becomes c to the power of three halves, okay? And then d to the negative four to the one half becomes um, d to the negative, negative, okay, so negative four times one half is negative two. So it's negative two. All right, so now, that negative exponent in the denominator, since it's a negative exponent in the denominator, I'm going to put it on the top to make it positive. So I've got C, D to the third over 2C, 3 halves. Okay, that's, that's everything except D to the negative 2. D to the negative 2 goes up top to become a positive 2. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify my C's and simplify my D's, okay? The 2 is going to stay in the denominator, okay? Up top, I've got C. On the bottom, I have C to the 3 over 2. So when you divide, you subtract the exponents. So the exponents are going to be 1 subtract 3 over 2, okay? Common denominator, that's 2 over 2. Subtract 3 over 2. That's negative 1 over 2, okay? So... I've got a c to the power of negative 1 over 2. Oh, my. To the power of negative 1 over 2. Okay, that's the c. The d, um, they're both up top, so I'm going to add the exponent. So that's d to the fifth. Okay. One more step. Since um, my c to the power of negative one half is um, 
negative in the top, I'm going to put that at the bottom to become positive. So the, C, the 2 is staying on the bottom. C to the 1 half goes to the bottom to become positive. D to the 5th stays up top. Your answer always has to be only positive exponents. You can't have neg any negative exponents in your answer. Now, you could just leave your answer like that. Okay, this is an answer. If you'd like, or if it's more convenient, you could make this d to the fifth. You, in other words, you can change this, the uh, fractional exponent to a square root over 2 square root of c. Okay, next page. All right, so here what I want to do is I want to take my first radical and change that to a fractional exponent. So the power is 7, that's the numerator. The root is 2, the denominator is 2. Okay. So now all of these things have the same base, so I can go ahead and add the exponents. Let me just do that work over here on the side. I've got 7 over 2 plus 5 over 2 minus 3 over 2. Uh, luckily, luckily enough for me, the denominators are all the same. I don't have to worry about getting a common denominator. I can just add the top. So 7 plus 5 is 12. Minus 3 is 9. 9 over 2. So this is x to the power of 9 over 2. Okay. You can just leave your answer like that. Or you can take x to the power of 9 over 2 is the answer. Or... If you want to, you can write that the square root of x to the ninth. Whichever in your problem or in your situation is more convenient. Okay, here's another example. And um, in my first parenthesis, I am raising this stuff to the power of 2. So that's 49a to the second times, now everything in the second parentheses gets the power of um, 3 over 2. So that's times 5 to the 3 over 2, b to the 3 over 2, over, okay, 5 to the 3 over 2, a to the 3 over 2, all right, and then everything in that next parentheses gets the power of 4, okay, so I've got 7 to the power of 4, b to the power of 4. Now, what I'm going to do, I just realized I had 7s on the tops and 7s on the bottom. Some of those 7s are going to cancel. So it was probably better for me to just leave this in exponential form. So I'm just erase that 49. I'm going to make that 7 to the power of 2 again. Okay. I've got 5s, I've got 7s, I've got A's, and I've got B's. Let me start with my 5s, okay? I've got 5 to the 3 over 2 on the top, 5 to the 3 over 2 on the bottom. So they're going to cancel. Now my 7s, okay? I've got 7 squared on the top. I've got 7 to the 4th on the bottom. I'm going to subtract those exponents. So 2 subtract 4 is 7 to the negative 2. Okay? All right. I've got a to the 2nd on the top, a to the 3 over 2 on the bottom. So I've got, I'm going to subtract the exponents. 2 subtract 3 over 2. That's 4 over 2. Subtract 3 over 2, getting the common denominator. So that's one half. Okay. So I've got a to the power of one half. And that's my e's. Okay. Now my b's. Okay, I'm going to subtract the exponents. That's three over two. Subtract four. 
Okay. Which, okay, getting my common denominator, that's 3 over 2, subtract 8 over 2, which is negative 5 over 2. So that's b to the power of negative 5 over 2. So all of this is on the top now. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take everything that has a negative exponent and move it to the bottom. So this is now 7 squared on the bottom, a to the 1 half on the top, and the negative 5 over 2 goes on the bottom and that becomes positive. And just leave your answer um, like that. Or maybe I should make the 7 squared equal to 49. Okay, so that's a to the 1 half over 49, b to the 5 over 2. Okay, that's it.